How you guys doing? DK5 ONV After mosquito attack They uh, st they stung me in the face on my eyelids two times inside of my eye four times on my ear on my throat This happened this morning before the sun was really up when I took down my antenna and uh, tried to open the the um, Allen wrenches, they've been turning around. That uh, that bit was turning around, didn't have no grip anymore, and I didn't have a second a second one with me. It was a brand new bit, so uh, I tried to open it with the pliers, dude. You hold the mast in your hand, you put it between your knees, and uh, yeah, and then the mos the mosquitoes, hundreds of them, they came out underneath of these huge leaves, underneath of underneath of the bushes, when it is warming up in the morning, when the sun is up and the sun is powerful, they're hiding again. They don't like that. They can't handle that. So, hundreds of mosquitoes. I had no chance to defend myself. So um, I'm okay. I um I uh ice down the mosquito bites a little bit. Yeah, my face still hurts a little bit, but I'm fine. Well, <laughs> Al said one day why he was so cute. He said, Gunther, why you doing <laughs> why you doing yourself this?" And I'm like, Gunther loves adventures, and Gunther loves to be with his friends with the big gun friendship net. And I tell you what, folks, the BGFN is worth it every every mosquito bite, any second of it I enjoy if I'm out in the cold, shivering and freezing. Yeah, no one else probably would do that, but Gunther, he is a different guy. <laughs> He's really crazy. So I'll be okay again in a couple more hours, don't you worry. And I found out a couple more things about that one element mono mono loop quad not mono band it's mono loop quad because it's mono one piece of wire and i yeah i learned i learning about this experiment about some different techniques to get up your mast i'll try it the other way around uh, pulling out all the, seg the segments, stretching out the mass on the f on the grass on the on the ground, and uh, putting the side segments in it, pulling them out, and uh, getting the wiring around, and then getting up this antenna. This antenna weights nothing; it's really lightweight. But the higher you you go from the ground, you know this is the normal physical um reaction to everything it got pulled like a magnet down to the ground so uh, yeah and number two this original bolts coming with the spreader kit by spider beam um for portable activities i won't recommend it because yeah if you got the antenna up and I didn't tighten them all the way, I want to make sure I don't overdrive and destroy the windings of the bolts. So I didn't fully tighten them up. So the thing is, if the antenna is erected, I mean, if the mast is erected and there's tension on that aluminum bracket and it moves a little bit, um, then it bends. The tension that happens on that bracket is bending just a little, little, little bit, bending the bolts a little bit. I mean, it's like that um, winding got stuck inside of the holes. And then when you try to open later on, when you, when you put it down on the floor again, and then if you try to open the bolts, then you ruin the the um, <laughs> the Allen wrenches, so um, yeah. 
that's the way it is. I gotta work, gotta work something out about it. That's what experiments are there for. And uh, I probably switch, I got me other bolts like this one with those nuts on the other side. They have nuts like that coming with the bracket, but I wanna switch the bolts. I don't want no Allen wrenches anymore. It's okay for lightweight stuff and, and uh, I recommend that strongly. Okay, folks, Uncle Gunther will be fine again in a couple more hours. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> I had a nice, had a beautiful night out, really. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that um, I got to work out on this antenna project. But I'm, but I'm happy. I uh, did hear Oregon for the first time, but it wasn't Larry K7HN. It was a, a guy named Michael, I forgot his call sign. And uh, he was talking to a guy in Texas. And believe it or not, I did hear Oregon on my vertical half wave entfit antenna with a radio 3 to 4 up to an S1, S2. There was some side splatter from other stations. And when I switched to the loop, man, he came up to an S5, S6 with a super great audio, super great radio 5. So, yeah. Okay, folks, let you go for now. Happy weekend, DK5 ONV. I need to cool off my mosquito bites. My whole face is burning and it's, it's really... It's a little, I wouldn't say painful, it's not painful, it's just bothersful. It really bothers, you know. Uncle Gunther Lost Adventures, 73, is DK5 for <laughs> Talk to you guys later.